Okay, I'm gonna change the cart, try a new thing. Play when you use crunch again. Let's try a new paint job. Yeah, that looks okay. Mm. Too fancy. There we go. Good, I not play for a while. Shall we play Rillaroo? His busted Rillaroo with his weird ass face and goatee. He's got a Hulk skin! He's also got a pink and a blue one that I don't... The look is just a Hulk! Hulk monkey! Return to Hulk monk! Yeah! Oh man, should I talk about some horror movies that I watched recently? I watched a French 80s horror movie that came out before Home Alone and is like a weird, more disturbing Home Alone called Deadly Games or Dial Code Santa. And I've got to admit, it's the weirdest fucking movie I've seen in a while. Like, imagine if Macaulay Culkin had a mullet was French, was a bit of a douche, but like had to watch a psychopath, maybe sex offender, dressed as Santa come into his house and kill his fucking dog in front of him. Yeah, and then it like, you know, she, in the movie, the, the guy actually catches the boy and stabs him in the leg at one point, and you're like, what the fuck, man? It's real weird. It's a real word movie. <clears throat> oh yeah, and what if I told you there's a horror movie out there based off of a fraternity being dickheads to people and Joey Belladonna was the antagonist and all of the music was Anthrax. Like, that actually existed and I watched it and I was like, what the fuck is this movie? And it's super gross. It's like some frat douche going, hey, hey man, you gotta eat this worm. Eat the worm, man, it's part of the pledge. Uh, and then like them like picking up cherries with their assholes and shit, and you're just like, what the fuck is this movie? Somehow like, Jerry Belladonna's character gets killed by their bullshit antics, which is actually like fairly reasonable considering the amount of shit they're doing. And then he comes back to get them all, and he's like, fuck you, I'm going to get you as a zombie ghost with a sword, and you're like, what the fuck is this movie? <laughs> I didn't even know it existed until recently, and was like, wow. So that's called Pledge Night. Um, oh man, I just don't like this track. This track is really just like, hey man, we need to remake Wumpa Island. We need a first first track basic circuit and we might as well make it just one per island but we can't make it exactly the same but we can basically even imitate the music it's never as good as the original fuck you <laughs> You might have noticed I like the goofy characters, like Fate Crash, Rillaroo. <laughs> oh no, it's Baby Cordex. Fuck baby characters, they're terrible. Why? They were never canon. Oh, maybe they were in Crash 3. Hmm. 
They are in Crash 4. Where? Oh, man. What was another horror movie I watched recently? I watched Ruin Me, which is pretty good. Uh, but was a bit generic at the same time. Uh, and Lake Bodum, which is pretty good. Um... Uh, the problem with me is I really like slasher movies and I like I'm always watching when I'm watching horror I normally gravitate towards slashers but the problem with that is after a while they start to kind of blend into one because there are a lot of generic slashers out there like if you watch uh, Sorority House Massacre straight after Prom Night Oh, stop hitting me with missiles! Uh, straight after watching another similar movie, like, I don't know, Slumber Party Massacre, I guess? Well, there was another one I watched which was about a sorority house. Oh, Black Christmas. But Black Christmas is pretty good. As it's basically one of the earlier versions of the mo that kind of movie style. So you're like, oh, okay, that's that's okay. And it's got a lot of creepy and offsetting tones to it. And it's genuinely quite disturbing. Uh, but like, um, Sorority House Massacre was just really like, oh, wow, this movie has nothing. Nothing really to set itself apart from other movies, which is a shame. Oh, what was that movie called? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good movie. Homewrecker was a good movie, because that's just a very, like, grounded in reality, slightly, like, dis oh, very disturbing, like, uh, kind of black horror comedy, you know, like, dark humor comedy kind of thing. It's, a uh, yeah, you should go watch that. That's really, really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, let's stop recommending horror movies. Time to recommend death metal. <laughs> okay, so my album of the week, I guess, is uh, Primeval by Venom Prison because that's a fucking sick album. I just finished listening to it uh, in full again, and it's really good. Oh, Baby Crash had the exclamation mark as a sticker, that's cool. Uh, sorry, I'm not really paying attention. Uh, this, these tracks are not my favorite. That one was okay though. It's just just okay, it's serviceable. It's not going to be in my top ten. Um, and what else have I been listening to recently? I listened to obviously there's a new Iron Maiden single out, but you know you should go check that out. Uh, and um, I listened to. While we're on the subject of Maiden, I listened to the live chapter of Book of Souls. That's a pretty good live album. You should probably go listen to that. And... Yeah, that's basically it for the time being. Those are my two recommendations. Studio album, Venom Prisons, uh, Primeval. And live album, Book of Souls live chapter by Iron Maiden. Uh, let's just watch this instead. Damn it, I still want to get the lab assistant, but he never shows up in the pit stop when I'm playing. I really want to get him as a character, and he keeps trying to sell me baby Cortex, and I'm like, fuck off, I don't want the baby characters. He's like, what about baby Cortex and Crash? And I'm like, I want the lab assistant. To drive by him again. The only characters I want now are basically Lab Assistant 
and entropy and I'm not prepared to do what I need to do to get entropy unlocked because I'm lazy. I kind of want to get the secret characters but I'm not that big of a fan of the secret characters because they just feel like a dumb like Raving rabbit style meme character where it's like oh you know you could get King Chicken it's like oh wow what a great character that I remember from any of the franchise <laughs> you know so I'm just like uh, I'm not gonna get him but like it's another one I researched it on Wikipedia do you want spoilers on what the Beanox boxes do they unlock a secret character Maybe if I'm bored, which I will be at some point, I will... There's a Beanox box on every track. So if you go on every track and find the blue Beanox box, you will unlock a secret character. But I'm not gonna spoil the secret character. Like I... I mean, you can just go online and find out. But like, uh... I might do that just to unlock the secret character and then I can play him on my YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, again, these guys are not really giving me much of a run for my money. But I found the step to hard to be really difficult when I tried it last time. Uh, I'm tempted to see if I can put my skills to the test next time and try hard mode. Oh man, I feel like I should actually do the 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 uh, ooh, he got squished the entropy challenge so I can get entropy, but like at the same time I don't really want to just do it for content. <laughs> It's so much work, man. So there is a shortcut on, up on this walkway, that, that, that box there, but like I always fuck it up. Look, it's the lab assistant. There's some cool costumes for Crash and Tiny Tiger too that are like from Crash Bandicoot 3 and 2 and stuff that I really want. But I can't get them because I have to do special things and I'm lazy. <laughs> it's literally the whole reason. Oh man, yeah, I watched this movie called Piranha, which is exactly what you think it is. It's a Jaws, they call it Jaws Ploitation. So basically, yeah, Jaws came out and then they were like, yo, let's make a load of imitation movies. And it's like really fun actually, but just don't expect anything amazing. It's just, these piranhas were worked on by the government for some reason to make a piranha weapon. And now they, they've they gotten loose in this freshwater lake and they're gonna kill the kids. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. <laughs> but yeah, you should go watch that if, you, if you're into that kind of stuff. It's got a fantastic movie poster and it's quite fun. Uh, and it's got some laugh out loud situations where you're like, holy shit, you can't, you can't say that now. <laughs> Like, you know, like, there's a guy, and, like, his whole thing is, like, the protag's whole thing is that his wife left him, and he's an alcoholic loser, and he's just, like, they're, like, don't you miss your friends? And he's, like, I've got my friend Jack Daniels right here, and you're, like, oh, that is so sad. <laughs> it was so sad. But he also said some, like, there's a female lead as well, and he says something to her, and I can't remember what it is. 
off the top of my head, but it made me laugh out loud about how fucking sexist and ridiculous it was. Like, it was such a misogynistic comment. And I was like, what the fuck? You can't say that. Also, why would you say that? Because she didn't do anything to deserve it. You know, when I was younger, I used to really like this uh, track and thought, oh yeah, it's really cool, it's the final boss track. But then you see the minimap for it and it's like, oh, it's just a series of straight lines with teleporters at the end of it. It's not, it, and with some annoying obstacles. It's not really like so much difficult, it's just frustrating. The difficulty comes from the... <laughs> just made the teleport there. The difficulty comes from the AI firing shit at you and it always hitting because it's in a straight line. And a lot of the places are narrow so if you do drop stuff it's just going to hit almost all the time. So it's really just hope you get good weapons. Looks like there's a shortcut down there to the left and I don't know how the hell to get to it. I'm always scared of throwing myself off the edge and ending up eight, so I never try it, but I should just I should just sack up and do it and Yeah, I might win. I think I win on points anyway. I could even fuck this up and win. I think. But let's let's just check. Let's just make sure. You can also tell, by the way, that Rillaroo was just some executive going. So they made one called Dingadile, right? Dingo and a crocodile. So what if we make one, but it's a gorilla and it has a kangaroo's tail? And so no one said to him, but, but, dude, gorillas don't live in Australia. <laughs> like, don't you don't you see the theme? The main themes are like they're mostly Australian animals. <laughs> ah yes, the Australian outback filled with gorillas. <laughs> and you just see a silverback sometimes. <laughs> Someone will probably now say, but crocodiles are from Australia. It's like, yeah, but Steve Irwin made them Australian. <laughs> so they're essentially associated with Australia too. I'm sure they have crocodiles in Australia. <laughs> Somewhere. But that's like saying, you know, I'm sure there's a gorilla somewhere in Australia. It's probably at the fucking zoo. <laughs> to be fair, Dingadile's main thing is not that he's a crocodile, it's that he's a dingo. So it's like, he gets away with it a little bit. Rillaroo's thing is that he's mostly gorilla. But then again, tiny tiger's a tiger, so... Maybe he's a Tasmanian tiger, so it's different. Wait, is Ty the Tasmanian tiger? It just has he broken me so much that I think that that's a real animal? God, I'm gonna need to Wikipedia after this. I'm a dumbass. I killed everyone because with my Rilla powers. <laughs> <laughs> 